Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my recipe with you for chicken wings and I'm gonna do them two ways. The football game is going on tonight so we're preparing our football snack and come on down, let me show you what we have here. So I have two um, baking sheet of chicken wings. I have, um, they're washed and um, padded with a paper towel to make them dry. And guys, um, I cut them in two, the top and the bottom, and um, I'm gonna do one set as honey garlic, and I'm gonna do another another pan of um, barbecue and spicy um, flavor. So two different flavors, and let's get started. So in this one here, I'm gonna do the um, barbecue and hot sauce. And then this, so all you need for that is some salt on top. And you want to make them nice and dry before you put any ingredient on them. So the ingredient can stay. And guys, it's the best thing to put a ba um, like um, a rack, a baking rack over your pan. So the wings can be on top and they'll get to cook from all the sides. But today I can't find my, my baking uh, rack so I'm leaving it in the pan itself but I like when you can put them on the rack so it's if you don't have rack or if you can't find your rack you can still do it this way don't let that hold you back so I'm gonna add in here I already add the salt I'm gonna add some black pepper and you want to give a good nice um, amount of black pepper so it can get coated all over and I will add the paprika to this set and I'm gonna just put them on top and then I'll toss them after so the paprika will give this a nice um, nice brownish color when it's done is get it will give it that nice color that you're looking for in wings and guys this here will be the one that I'm using the barbecue um, the barbecue hot sauce so you just want to mix it up toss it nicely that you can um, get the salt and the black pepper and everything in there. And the a little secret for cooking wings, chicken wings, you wanna put a little bit of baking powder. So in here, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of baking powder. And the baking powder, the reason why you're putting baking powder, you want the wings to crisp up nicely. And the baking powder help it to have that nice crispy skin on the top of the wings when it's done. So a nice little amount, not too much. And that will help your wings to crisp up nicely after it's done. Because there's no good wings when it's soggy and it's not crispy. So this one here is ready. And I'm going to make sure I separate them that it's not too cluttered and in the next pan here is it will be the honey garlic one I'm gonna grate a nice clove of garlic on top I like to use fresh garlic you can use the garlic powder if you have it that's no big deal but I like to use um, the fresh garlic so I put one here and I don't think that's enough so I'm gonna put another clove so the garlic can get uh, into the chicken wings and flavor it up nicely at the end of the dish and guys chicken I know a lot of times we can enjoy chicken wings when it's fried deep fried but today I'm not gonna deep fry my chicken wings I will be baking these ones so that's even much better because if you sometimes feel that chicken wings is too oily or greasy you don't always have to fry them you can bake them as well so in here i'm going to add a nice amount of salt so i can coat them evenly and guys don't be afraid of this chicken wings is very simple to make so black pepper salt and garlic is all you need for this one and then i'm gonna also add some of the um, baking powder to this one because we would like all the skin to crisp up and be nice and crunchy at the end and like I said guys you don't have to always fry your wings you can bake them too and that's how I always do my wings I don't never fried wings before 
but I always put them in the oven and bake the wings when I'm making chicken wings. So this is one way, and um, my oven is heating up to 425 degree, and I will put them in for 45 to 50 minutes, but I'll check them halfway of that cooking time, and then I'll flip them over and let it cook on the other side. So we'll come back and show you the next process. Okay guys, so this is 25 minutes in, on 425 degree this one in right in front here is the one with the paprika and I'm just gonna flip them a little see how it's browning up nicely um, I'm just gonna flip them so it can cook evenly on both sides and this only have another uh, 25 minutes more of cooking or less because you don't want it to get too dry in here you just want it to be nice and um, crispy and yet not have nice tenderness inside. And the one in the back here is the um, will be the honey garlic one. So see how this is nice and soft but it's crisping up and it's browning up nicely. So all we need now is to flip them all and then I'll put them back into the oven for another 25 minutes and then we'll make the sauce and come back and show you guys. Okay guys, so now we're gonna make the sauce for the two different kinds of wings. So in this pot here, I'm gonna be making the um, barbecue um, hot sauce. So I'm gonna add in here about a cup of barbecue hot sauce and I'm putting on the oven um the not the oven sorry the stove just turn it off turn it off okay guys so on in this pot here I'm gonna be making the spicy barbecue sauce for the one um set of wings and in this pot I have some barbecue sauce and some butter you want to put the butter to make it more um nice and give it that nice glaze and make it like nice and juicy at the end when you put the sauce on top and for the spicy barbecue sauce you also have to add um some hot sauce and i'm going to be adding my own homemade hot sauce that i make with hot pepper and i i'm going to add one teaspoon of that and guys i'm um, because I'm cooking for kids here, I'm just adding one teaspoon of hot sauce into the um, the spicy, because this is real hot pepper. This is not um, mild or anything. This is very, very hot pepper that I use. I made myself. So once this is um, all warming up, once the butter is melted, it's going to be nice and soft and it's going to be um, like very the butter gonna be nice and glossy and that rich kind of texture that you're looking for for the chicken wings so we're gonna let this warm up and everything like melt in together so again i have one teaspoon of butter i have one cup of um, barbecue sauce and i have one teaspoon of hot sauce that i made myself and this is this is the sauce that we're making for the barbecue hot sauce uh, wings. So guys, once the butter is melted, it's gonna be all nice and how we want it to be. And I can just try a little. Mm. Mm. <coughs> so hot. <coughs> but that's how you want your spicy wing to be oh my god this is so good already <coughs> sorry guys i can't wait to pour this on top so this is a a nice spot of um spicy goodness for the wings and you just want to toss these on top of that so i'm gonna turn off the stove and then i'll show you guys how to make the garlic honey sauce Okay guys, so now we're gonna make the um, honey garlic sauce and then in this pan here, I have um, one teaspoon of butter and I'm gonna be adding half a cup of honey to that and um, I have to put garlic in there as well. 
So while I'm doing this here, I'm just gonna um, add the honey into that. And I can't even get, get the honey bottle to open. So I'm gonna put the half a cup of honey in here into the butter. And you want that nice, thick, rich honey in there. And we're gonna stir this up until it gets nice and runny. Like you don't want it to be too on the too thick side. And because it's honey garlic, I'm gonna go in and grate one clove of garlic, a nice big clove of garlic. So it can infuse with the honey and the butter to give that nice rich honey garlic flavor. So guys, this is gonna be another great flavor for um, the other set of wings. You wanna put that nice amount of fresh garlic and you can put garlic powder guys, but I love to put the fresh garlic so we can have the fresh, fresh flavor on the um, on the wings when we're making, when we're putting in over the sauce because nothing like a fresh, um, fresh garlic grated into the sauce. You can, you taste the richness on the sauce when you pour it on. So again, if you don't like fresh garlic and you can't handle the taste of fresh garlic, go ahead and add garlic powder, guys. That's fine too. You add how you can handle, right? So this is nice and ready. You can see the garlic in there. It's all the pieces of garlic. So we're gonna take out the chicken from the oven because it's done and then we'll show how we're mixing. Okay guys, so this one here is the um, paprika one that we're gonna do the barbecue hot sauce. And guys, you see how nice and crispy these are here. How crispy. And all the oil, if you look down, is in the bottom of the pan. So once you take out the wings, the oil is gonna remain in the pan. So feel free guys, when you're baking these wings, you won't have no trouble of having greasy wings and this one here will be the honey garlic and same thing they're nice and crunchy and that's what you're looking for so 45 minutes the wings are done i'm gonna put them into this bowl and i will mix them and show you guys how it looks okay guys so we're gonna pour this um barbecue hot sauce on this one because this is the one we cook with the paprika and see how the color is nice guys look at this Look at this goodness that we're pouring on here. I'm gonna keep back some of the sauce because it's a little bit spicy and I don't want the kids to have trouble eating it. But guys, look at this. The, the um, chicken wing is cooked so well that it's actually falling off the bone and so nicely flavored and done. And, um, oh sorry, this is about blocking you. Yes, see guys how nice that is? Guys, so now this one is the honey garlic and we're just gonna pour away our honey and garlic goodness in here just pour it away see and the butter is giving that nice glazy kind of um, look so I'm just gonna toss these up let me toss these up and then mix everything in well see and like I said to you guys the um, the chicken wing is cooked so perfectly that it there are some of them are falling off the bone so cook so nice and tender and soft and still have that nice crispiness outside so guys i'm very happy the way they turn out guys and chicken wings is one of the easiest easiest thing to prepare when you have friend over it's a game night or it's a friday night game night at your home with you and your family this is a, one of the most simplest dish so let me play it and i'll show you guys Okay guys, so this is um, one of the finishing. This is the honey and the, um, sorry, the barbecue hot sauce flavor. And this one right in front here is the honey garlic. And look at that guys, tell me. Tell me how it look. You can see how nice and shiny it is on the top. You can see the glaze of the butter and there's little bits of garlic. Look at this one, nice and ready. So we're ready for our game. I'm just gonna, play it out some and then try it and taste and let you guys know how how it tastes so I will just take a little tiny one here and this is actually falling off the bone and I want to taste one of the um, the honey garlic one so I'm gonna do these two 
and let you guys know how how it tastes so guys like i said wings is very so very easy to make so very flavorful it takes no time and you have to try it it's a nice thing to enjoy with your family see how this is falling off the bone guys so nice so tender so moist and we have that nice crispy skin on the outside plus the sauce and everything on it is just making me so hungry so i'm gonna try this guys oh my gosh i my mouth is so happy the flavor with the hot sauce and the barbecue sauce is so nice and a hint of butter in there is so amazing and guys when you put your <clears throat> hot sauce and this one i made my own hot sauce so the flavor is even more better and there's a perfect balance with the hot sauce and the barbecue sauce so now guys let me try the honey garlic so see it is falling off the bone falling off the bone goodness and this is the honey garlic let me try that one Mm. guys this is so flavorful the garlic and i love garlic and the honey a perfect balance guys i'm so very happy my family is gonna be happy and you can make your family happy by making this there's so many ways of making chicken wings there's so many different kinds of flavor but this is my two flavor that i'm sharing with you guys tonight so if you haven't subscribed to my video please do so like share leave me a comment let me know what you would like me to make next until then me and my family will be enjoying our chicken wings tonight bye for now